Hello everyone and welcome to day six of Pneumatic Week. And for all of you who aren't too keen on pneumatic cleaners, don't worry, from next week, normal service will be resumed. So I'll be showing you all sorts of different machines over the next coming weeks and months. Bagged and bagless, corded and cordless, maybe some robotic cleaners thrown in as well. But we're still in pneumatic week and this is what I'm going to be opening today and the box symbolizes that this is a commercial pneumatic. It's not a domestic cleaner. This machine was designed for commercial use. Now I have had a quick look at this cleaner but I've not actually switched it on. Obviously this is a battery operated pneumatic so I wanted to get the battery and charger out and get the battery charged up prior to the video. So when I insert the battery it's going to be for the first time. So let's have a look. Here we have an empty box. It's empty because it contained just behind me it's got the battery in it I can remove it there we go it contained this this is the charger for the battery it's in two parts you've got this power brick here with a green indicator that turns red when it's charging and green when the battery is fully charged I've just taken the battery out so it's showing green but when you put the battery in it will turn red while it's charging so this is the charger and dock assembly. I'll pop that back and while I'm here, I'll show you the huge battery. This is much bigger than the battery you get with a Henry and Hetty cordless. I think it's still a 36 volt. Yes, it's a 36 volt battery, but you'd think being so big, it would either give you more power or have a longer running time. It's got Pneumatic International. I'll just pop that back in the charger. It's more or less fully charged now anyway. Inside here, I'll show you later, but that's the regular tools. In fact, I'll have a look at them now because they might be different being a commercial vacuum. Let's have a look. Where's me? Here it is. Let's open this. I'm assuming it's just the same as we get with all the other pneumatics. Upholstery nozzle, the hose adapter, dusting brush, the slide on brush insert for the upholstery nozzle, and of course the crevice tool. So, yes, it's the same as you get with all the other pneumatics. Here's the handle, and we've got the more lightweight. Aluminium, I think they are, tubes. And the two wands. Let's have a look what type of floor tool this has got. Now I'm not sure if that's different. It looks, I'll have to check. Now I think that's the same as you get with Henry and Hetty cordless. Metal base plate. It's got the parking uh, bracket thing so we can park it on the cleaner and a foot operated switch to lower the brush for hard floors. So there's that. So that's all the tools. Of course we've got the hose. And with this one it's a standard hose. It's not the Flomax conical. It's the same diameter at the cleaner end as it is at the handle end. Here's the instruction book. A little black and white affair. There's quite a lot of pictures and there'll be text at the back. And then, I think, finally, we can get out the vacuum itself. So here it is, a bit bigger than even a standard Henry. So let's have a closer look at this pneumatic cordless. Because this is a larger commercial version of a Henry cordless, it does cost a bit more money. You can pick up a Henry cordless with two batteries for around £200 in the UK. The cheapest I found this particular one with one battery was £479, but I have seen some retailers charging over £600 for this. Now I didn't pay anywhere near £600 for this. Somebody was selling one of these on eBay 
for £180. So I snapped it up. I don't think the seller realised what they were selling. If they'd done a Google search, they may have priced it a bit higher. I think the seller just thought it was like a Henry Cordless and priced it accordingly. So bad news for the seller, but good news for me. Okay, we'll have a look at this. I'm going to bring in Henry Cordless. He's just waiting in the wings there, just to show you the size comparison. Here is Henry Cordless next to his bigger brother. Now Henry Cordless is based on the 160 size body, whereas this larger version is based on the 240 sized body. So it's going to have a bigger capacity, you can fit more dirt inside this, but this of course is designed for commercial use where they don't want to be changing dust bags frequently, but it is quite a lot bulkier. There are other differences as well. When we turn Henry Cordless round, we have the the regular two slots here to fit the accessories. You can get four accessories on here as I showed you in earlier videos. On the larger version, we actually have the four slots so it's very easy to put all the accessories here and of course you've got the parking bracket. So while we've got the back of the pneumatic NVB240 on show, you can see that there's a great big gaping hole in the back. So this is where the larger battery slots on the Henry Cordless, of course, it goes on the top. So the battery is fully charged and it takes three and a half hours to fully charge one of these batteries. And it does have a longer cleaning time than Henry Cordless. In high mode, you can get 40 minutes of cleaning time and in low, you can get 60 minutes, which is useful it offers, obviously, in a larger commercial environment, more carpets and floors to clean. You need it to be able to clean for longer without having to change the battery. OK, well, I've never put the battery in, so it's switched off at the front. And I'll show you the controls. Again, the controls are different because they're on the front of this machine instead of on the back. So we slot the battery in like that until it's clicked into position. And when we want to take the battery out to charge, there's this red button on the top. You just press that down, the battery pops out and you pop it back in the charger. But it is fully charged, so I'll pop it back in like so. Of course, we've got the built-in carry handle, pretty standard. Have a quick look at the rating plate for you. So it's 36 volt DC, 250 watts IEC. NVB240 and the serial number is 20110031. Okay, let's turn this machine round and we can have a look at the controls. They are the same as you'd find on Henry and Hetty cordless, but Pneumatic have put them at the front this time so they're a little bit easier to access. Okay, fingers crossed this works. I'm going to select low speed and then high speed. Yes, that sounds fine to me. Let's uh, take a look inside. Just the same as all the pneumatic cleaners I've shown you this week, the way you take the motor unit off with the two clips. But that motor unit is quite heavier than Henry Cordless. And look, well, something different for you to see. That is quite a different design. Look how they've offset the motor. It's not centrally located as it is on the Henry and Hetty Cordless. We've got it to one side. That's probably to allow the battery, I would have thought. Maybe that's the reason. In fact, it's not to one side. I'm showing you, well, it is to one side if you look at it that way, but this way, that's the front of the cleaner. So the motor is located towards the front. So yes, this space here is to allow for the larger battery. But it shouldn't make any difference. I think there is slightly more suction power on this than Henry Cordless. I'll compare the two in a minute. So yeah, that's different. And underneath we have the filter and then the bag of course. Just check it's not being used. No, that looks clean. So yeah, it's a bigger, bigger capacity. So we'll push the bag back in, like so, 
and put the filter in. There we go. Let's line it up. That's fine. Okay, can screw the hose on. Quite surprised that it's a standard hose and not a conical hose. I can't uh, say to be sure, but that does feel just a little bit more powerful than regular Henry cordless, but I'm going to find out. No point in feeling the suction when I can use my gauge to measure it just to compare the two. So I'll switch on this cleaner, the pneumatic NVB240 on low and then high, and we'll see the results. And then we'll see what Henry cordless is. Okay, starting off on low power, On low power it seemed to peak around 36 on the suction gauge, so let's have a look what it's like on high power. Okay, in high power the NVB240 peaked at around 50 on the suction gauge. Okay, let's compare that to the standard Henry cordless. So the Henry Cordless peaked at around 32 on low as opposed to 36 on low for the NVB240. And on high, we had a reading of 42 for the Henry Cordless and 50 for the NVB240. So that bigger battery does mean that this machine has got just a bit more suction power, especially on high mode. 50 isn't bad for a cordless cleaner. Well, using an NVB240 is a bit like using a large Henry cordless, although it's got more capacity, a bit more suction power, and of course, a bit more weight and bulk. In my opinion, it's not very convenient to use around the average home, but then again, this cleaner wasn't really designed for domestic use. It was designed for commercial use. So in a shop or an office, especially ones with contract carpeting or hard floors, and by contract carpeting, I mean that very thin pile hard wearing carpet you tend to find in shops and offices. This is what this is designed for. It's not designed to be used in a home with plush pile carpeting like mine, but it's a nice little pneumatic to have in the collection. I mean, I got it for a cheap price, so I'm quite happy to have this and it was interesting to compare it to the regular Henry Cordless. Well, before I go, I'm gonna do a little bit of a demo because you like to see some dirt put down and picked up, don't you? But I'm actually going to try out the Aero Brush. I did try out the Aero Brush with the Hetty Cordless on a shorter pile carpet, but I'm just gonna see what it's like with the slightly more suction power of the NVB240. I'm gonna put some dirt down and pick it up with the full-sized Aero Brush.
Well, the MBV picked everything up, although the Aero Brush did struggle on my plush carpet, especially when it was picking up all the dirt. Even when most of the dirt was gone, the brush was still struggling to spin. So it's not really designed anyway for a battery vacuum, and it certainly isn't designed for this sort of carpet. I tried it briefly on the much shorter pile carpet in my hallway, and I could hear the brushes spinning faster. And it is a lot easier to push than the supplied nozzle. But as I said, this isn't really a domestic vacuum cleaner. It's meant for commercial use. And in a commercial environment, I don't suppose they're bothered what head they have on, as long as it picks up the dirt. And on short pile carpets and hard floors, I'm sure this cordless pneumatic will do the business. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to tune in same time tomorrow for the last video of Pneumatic Week. Bye for now.